Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, croissery, salam, welcome to the channel, y'all, chash, yakshi, mash, good day, y'all. So today, as you can see, we are next to Barbie. Excuse me. Why are we sitting in front of it again? Well, we're going to be changing something else on it today. So you recently would have seen me put on the new door seal. Today, we're going to be putting on these, which is a damper kit. So the dampers on this are... Uh, I think they're a bit shot to be honest they don't seem to be much good on it they were bouncing the load around and it was just really unbalanced so we're going to put on a pair of new dampers now some of you might, might be asking some of you might be asking why bother trying to fix this scrap heap and the question and the answer is <laughs> I don't know the thing about it is that doing stuff to this machine for me is really good practice to do stuff on my own because I've got lots of videos fixing stuff with other people like uh, Phil from Service Slimline, Chris uh, from the Laundry Centre and many other people as well that I watch on how to do these things. And, and it's nice for me to try and do something on my own. So if I bodge this up and it completely breaks, it doesn't matter because it's just a scrap machine. That's what it was. It was given to me and it didn't cost me anything and i've had lots of fun fixing it and making the videos and learning so much stuff which is really important so whether it be washing machines vacuums gadgets whatever trying to fix them for the first time or doing stuff on my own for me it's really really good fun and i hope you enjoy with the journey uh, along with it too so don't shout at the screen too much at things I possibly might be doing wrong. Uh, this is not a how-to video. This is a how-to-bodge video. So anyway, let's crack on. And what we're going to do, I'm going to pull the machine a little bit forward. I'm going to lean it back, put the lights in it, set up the camera and take a look. And first of all, let's have a look and see what we have in the bag. I'd like to apologize if you can hear the heater in the background. I'm sorry, I have to have it on. It's like two degrees outside. So in the kit, we have the dampers, which are nice and stiff. Yep, which is good. Just to make sure I can move them. Perfect. Um, and we also have these as well. So. There are these, there's the screws, there's more screws, and we have them as well. Okay, so that's everything that's in the packet. Let's get the machine tipped over and let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty clean inside, it's not too bad. Uh, and there we have the dampers. So that one there, is yeah so they bolt it on to the um tub and then they come down let me turn you around and then you can see at the other end then they bolted onto that bracket there and then screwed in then underneath uh, of that so what i will do is when i take the damper out um actually it might be easier if i just take these screws out to be honest yeah, okay, I'll do that. I'll take the screws out, uh, take the damper out completely, have a quick look at it, and then get the new one fitted. <laughs> Okay, so I've pulled out the old damper and it, it's it's not difficult to, I wouldn't say they're completely gone, but they are quite easy to pull in and out. Whereas the new one I have here, 
does take quite a bit of strength to actually pull it in and out so what i have to do now is just reverse fit this so i'm going to use everything new that came with it so i got the new damper i got the new little plug and i'm going to use four of these new little screws to fit it back in so basically i just do the reverse now Okay, we got it in there. Now we have to fit it to the outside of the washing machine. Okay, so what I've done is I've put the other damper in, the new one, because there's quite a gap between where these screws are gonna go at the bottom. So I want to set it upright so the tub is in a good position. And then I can just double check because it's got th it's got the six holes on it. So because this is a different tub, basically I'm just gonna turn it up on its side and just make sure where, which holes it naturally goes over. And then I'll screw it onto there because it's leaning right back at the minute. So it's not fitting anything. I'll get a better idea when I turn it on its side. So now I got the tub laying, I got the machine, sorry, uh, upright. Um, I've given the tub natural movement to see where it fits uh, on the side better so what i'll do is i'll turn it over gently and then i can kind of like guess them better where those four screws want to go in rather than forcing them into a position where it doesn't because this is a different tub after all okay so now i can see definitely that it wants to go into these two and the same ones on the other side so I'll get these screwed in. Okay, so we've got one side in completely done. Now I just need to do the other. So that are the dampers all fitted. I've now got it on a test cycle. So I'm doing a bedding wash. I wanted to do a nice heavyish kind of load to it, a full load just to see on it. And um, it's nice and steady so far while it's tumbling, but I'll come back to you when it starts doing its first spin um, and then we can see how it goes. So there we go guys, I've now changed the dampers on it and it has completed its first cycle. There is now done, that was all the bedding. I didn't bother filming it because ugh, it just wasn't the point, everything was fine. So what I'm going to be doing now is um, emptying this and I'm going to film another load, uh, a proper load on it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode and thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed. It's a lot of fun learning. Um, things to do with the washing machines and using this as my sort of like test machine anyway i'll see you soon bye